Various experts in the realm of space recently claimed that a big solar storm is heading towards the Earth, and apparently it will have a direct impact. But what does this mean? A solar storm is a disturbance on the Sun that can radiate outward across the hemisphere, influencing the entire solar system, including Earth and its magnetosphere, and is the source of short-term space weather, as well as long-term patterns that make up space climate. So basically, the entire world could be in for some pretty insane weather at the least. Stay tuned to find out everything you need to know about this impending solar storm and what it means for us here on Earth. Earth faces triple threat from space as a solar storm is predicted to have a direct impact. Here's everything you need to know. So what exactly is happening with this solar storm and what have the experts discovered? Well, Dr. Tamitha Skov, a space weather physicist, predicted this morning that a solar storm would impact Earth in the very near future. NASA, along with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, believe that the astronomical phenomenon will have an impact on the Earth in the following few weeks. According to NOAA's three-day forecast, there is an 80% likelihood of a big storm. According to their current forecast, the storm will have a 20% chance of hitting the United Kingdom. Amateur radio and GPS systems are also predicted to have problems, especially near dawn and twilight. As this long-duration air was shooting out energy into space, it was accompanied by the eruption of a cloud of charged solar particles, otherwise known as a solar plasma cloud or solar storm, or a coronal mass ejection, explained Scott Sutherland, who works for the weather network claimed even a glancing impact from a CME is typically enough to trigger a geomagnetic storm, he continued. However, it looks that Earth will be influenced by the cloud's densest component in this situation. He continues to explain that this occurrence might even cause a severe geomagnetic storm, with auroras visible across Canada and even into the northern areas of the U.S. Electrical blackouts have been known to happen as a result of these geomagnetic storms, which have been known to inflict major damage to power networks and radio communications. However, we must preface that this solar storm is set to be pretty mild. While the Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere provide considerable radiation shielding on the ground when these solar storms happen, astronauts are susceptible to possibly fatal radiation poisoning. The impending solar storm was initially predicted to cause a so-called G1 geomagnetic storm, the tiniest, but the U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center has not yet issued a G1 warning. The Earth's impact from the CME is likely to be limited, but we can't rule this out just yet. The five-point G scale was used by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, of which the Space Weather Prediction Center is a component, to identify geomagnetic storms. A G1 storm has the potential to have moderate effects on satellite operations and cause minor power grid disturbances. G5 events, on the other hand, might have a significant influence on satellite operations, causing surges that knock out power systems and disrupting high-frequency radio communications for days. G5 solar storms, on the other hand, only happen four times times every 11-year solar cycle. On a very similar note, at the beginning of February, SpaceX launched 49 satellites as part of Elon Musk's Starlink internet project, with the majority of them burning up in the atmosphere days later. A geomagnetic storm induced by the sun was the cause of this more than $50 million disaster. When space weather collides with the Earth, geomagnetic storms occur. Variations in the sun's magnetic field send electrons, protons, and other particles into space, causing space weather. Scientists expect this solar storm to be pretty tame, and we don't really have anything to worry about. Still pretty interesting, though. A large European space agency quickly suspends Mars mission with Russia amidst the attack on Ukraine. In other space news, the European Space Agency has officially halted its 1 billion euro or 844 million pound ExoMars mission, which was set to deploy a robotic rover in September of this year. Due to Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine, officials have decided to halt the mission with Russia. Additionally, the ESA had already stated that the mission was extremely extremely doubtful. Speaking about their decision, the agency director of ESA stated, given the current circumstances, particularly the sanctions imposed by our member states, it was decided that this launch could not take place. He continued, stating, this not only renders a launch of the rover in September practically impossible, but also politically impossible. Rosalind Franklin, aka the Mars rover, was built in the United Kingdom for a scheduled launch set for late this year. Before the ESA canceled their partnership with Russia, the Russian lander was set to shepherd the spacecraft to the surface after it had traveled to Mars on a German-built spaceship. Instead, the rover will now be put into storage for the time being. The decision was expected, but it's a big setback for Europe's space program. Based on the alignment of the Earth and Mars, the next available launch window is 2024, although technical and political obstacles may take longer to resolve. The European Space Agency, or ESA, has commissioned a feasibility assessment to determine how to get ExoMars off the ground without the help of Roscosmos. One option is to work with NASA, who have already expressed 
expressed a strong desire to support the mission. The rover was designed to drill two meters into Mars' surface in search of indications of life. There are no similar missions planned in the next decade, and the rover should be able to survive in storage for several years. Keeping the mission alive, though, is expected to add significant cost to the already very expensive mission. NASA unveils new gigantic moon rocket. Here's everything you need to know. NASA, or the United States Space Agency, has unveiled its new massive moon rocket for the very first time just this past week. The vehicle, dubbed the Space Launch System, or SLS, was transported to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for a dummy countdown. If everything goes well, the rocket will be declared ready for a mission to orbit the moon with an uncrewed test capsule. This could occur within the next few months. SLS is a giant. It was meant to be more powerful than the Apollo Saturn vehicles of the late 1960s and early 1970s, standing just under 100 meters tall. It will have enough thrust to carry astronauts far beyond Earth, as well as enough equipment and cargo for such crews to stay away for long periods of time. SLS will now prepare for a wet dress rehearsal, which is expected to take place on April 3rd. The rocket will then be fueled with propellants and sent through a rehearsal countdown until it reaches 9.4 seconds before liftoff. The scrub point occurs immediately before the four large shuttle-era engines under the rocket are generally lit. NASA will be able to establish a flight date if all goes according to plan and the engineers are satisfied. The end of May is still a possibility, but June or July seems much more likely. The rocket's Orion crew capsule will be propelled on a 26-day voyage that includes an enlarged orbit around the moon. While NASA is working on the SLS, Elon Musk, an American rocket entrepreneur and popular billionaire, is working on a much larger vehicle at his Texas R&D center. His massive rocket is known as the Starship. It, like the SLS, has yet to fly its first flight. But, unlike the SLS, Starship is planned to be completely reusable, making it significantly less expensive to operate. According to a recent study, which audits NASA programs, the first four SLS flights will each cost more than $4 billion to complete, a price that has been criticized as incredibly unsustainable. It's pretty remarkable how quickly space travel has evolved, especially over the past few years. But it's blatantly obvious that something has to change, as this price tag per rocket is definitely not feasible in the long run. Speaking of Elon Musk and his new rocket, many believe that this may be the solution to more affordable space travel. Some within NASA even argue that private businesses like SpaceX are inventing and developing more quickly for the better. However, this different set of aims has resulted in considerable inefficiency, leaving NASA behind in this particular space race. In light of recent announcements concerning the International Space Station's future, which has been extended until 2030, it's apparent that NASA is turning to the private sector to continue American excellence in space exploration, and SpaceX is well positioned to lead that effort. There are certainly other big contenders in the private space travel industry, including Blue Origin and Virgin Atlantic, but it appears NASA has taken the most liking to SpaceX. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the solar storm warning that was recently issued, where Earth is facing a potential direct impact. However, don't worry, according to various different reports, it won't pose that much harm to us. Additionally, we also touched on how the European Space Agency has decided to cut its ties with the Russian Space Agency due to the ongoing war Russia has waged on Ukraine. We also delved into NASA and their new moon rocket, and why SpaceX is a huge contender in helping NASA produce rockets that are much cheaper and more sustainable. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thank you for watching.